Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Welcome to another week on our Fluid Art Express. I hope you just watched Shambi. Amazing as always, isn't she? So, today, today, what we're going to do, I had to have a slight pause then, thinking what am I going to do? I think I'm going to play with some different ideas I've been ticking over with a load of palette knives. And I'm going to find out whether I'm right. It's going to look really cool. Or we go back to the drawing board. But I think today we're just going to have a bit of a play day with this. So colours I'm using, I'll share that as I go along. So first one I've got is my Southern Ocean Blue. Chew Paint by Matisse. And I'm just going to slither some of that down. Then I've got my Arc Orange by Eye Candy. Then I'm just going to put a little drizzle of that around like that. Then we've got the fantastic Firebird Red by Eye Candy. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous neon red. I think we, we need to sprinkle a bit more of that on. What do you reckon? Yeah, super cool colour. And then I actually have one of my all-time favourites. And that is my Pearl X Nox, or as I call it, Dirty Copper. And that is what we're going to start with today. So I'm going to go straight through the centre. I'm just going to do that. So that way, I've got my first swipe sitting there. <coughs> now, what is it? <coughs> Excuse me. There was a frog. We'll get rid of him. <coughs> ribbit. What I'm going to do is ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. ditch that handful of paper. Ribbit, ribbit. Now, I'm going to grab out just a little dude. So, looks like Kayleen went too deep. Yeah we did. So this is cool. What we're going to do now is load up our little dude. And I think on this one we're just going to add that gorgeous firebird red. Just like so. So what we're going to do we're going to take that one down. Cool. Now, we'll go in again. And I think we need another one of just that. And I'm coming over there where I don't like that. And there we go. Fixed. So. I love experimenting with these because it's sort of... Sky's the limit. You just play with it. And see what cool effects you get as you're going along. So I think we'll just add that amount there. Now I think we're going to bring that red down here. Watch it pop its head up. Such a cool colour. Really is a cool colour. I think we can get a bit more there. And that's the cool thing. With these type of ones, you've got the floaty pillow going on. And you can keep adding and doing what you like till you get the effects you desire. It's all up to you. So, but I really think I'd love that bit right there to be just that little bit brighter. It's just going to do it justice. All right. So, clean paper towel time, because I've filled that up with goo. 
Now I think what we need is a little bit of that Nox and just a little bit because a little bit of um, Nox goes a long way and I think now we'll add our Southern Ocean Blue to that because I really love those two colours together I just think they really complement each other so Let's just take that up through there. Yeah, see, they're really pretty. They play nice together, don't they? We'll do that again. Definitely got to do that again. Let's go in reverse this time. Put our Southern Ocean Blue down first. <coughs> Excuse me. And then put our Nox on top. And let's just see if that changes the reaction with the cells. Because that's what I like to see too when I experiment. Alright. Now I think what we need to do, we're going to grab the real little dude out. See, and this is the thing. Just change your tools up to suit what you're doing. I think we'll add our little arc orange onto this one. And let's change. What are we going to change? I think we might add to this. Just give that a little bit of something there so it trails down, sort of follows in. So we'll do another one off the side. See, and this is where it's cool because you just, as you see it developing, you can just add to it, change it up. So I think that's going to give it some nice highlights off the edges there. What do you think? Yeah. I don't think it's going to hurt to do one more here. And you're not using a lot of paint either, which is really cool. And then we'll just come off this one. There we go. I think that blue needs a bit of something, doesn't it? Maybe just a touch of orange off the edge there. Just to give it a bit of something, I think. Looks a bit bland. So. There we go. I think that's going to bring it all together nice. So what I'll do, I'm going to quickly wipe some of these paint things off so I can put the lids on my paint before we have a spin and play. That way I don't get black pillow paint all through my colours and I get to use them another day. I might put that Nox up for a minute because it might have a use in a minute. Won't be one second. Get those lids on. Usually got my helper doing this, but he's gone rogue. That's all right. We got this. Okay, so. What we might do, put them there. Move them out of the way. And that frees us up. So, we will have a play with that bit.
think we might just see if we can weave that gold there. Yeah, that's cool. Bubbles like so. Now I think this bit here where that orange is really bold. We're not going to do me any favours. So we'll just move that around a bit. I'm just ribbing that bit out. And I think this bit would look really cool. Just like a ribbon effect. There we go. Alright, now before we do anything else, we'll pop some of our pesky bubbles because this black at the moment. Doing my head in to be honest, it's doesn't matter how you set it, shake it, take it for a car ride, it's still got those bubbles. So see all them crazy cells we've got through there so far. But let's put her down. See how she opens up for us. Here we go. Now I'm just going to take a slow. <clears throat> so I know for some reason whenever I use the orange, if you don't use it quite sparingly enough, she likes to move. And I don't know why yet. It's one of those continued experiments that do your head in till you figure it out. But you'd almost think I'd use Senshi Red here. And it's not. It's just the Firebird Orange, the way it's reacting with the black CA. Yep, we've still got a bit of movement there. I love these with a thick pillow. I really do. I just think you get the best results. And that's just my personal thing. It really is just my personal thing. Alright, let's have a look at these bubbles again. I love the way some of these cells on the edges here I hope the camera picks them up when we do a close-up for you because some of those are really beautiful. So I really do love that. And what's cool about these is you're really just experimenting and seeing what you like, what you don't like. You can see where we just added different highlights and it's just a fun thing to do. Now, what we'll do, we're going to wipe our sides around here. So that way, when we give it that one last spin, we can see just how much is still coming off the edge or whether we are good to pop it up and do a flyover reel. I have got that much paint on the side of the spinner. <laughs> Look at that. My fingers are just slipping in it. Okay, bubbles. Getting messy. Well, I think she's pretty cool. That is... That is a pretty cool swipe. So it just shows you too that um, mixing it up with different tool sizes as well for different effects can just be what makes all that difference at the end but I really love the way that red that that highlights that's super cool so what I will do now is I will pop this fella up and hopefully not drop it like I did the one earlier today and what we'll do is we'll do a close-up reel for you and hopefully you have a play with something like that because I think they're just super cool a lot of fun to be had with those. So just start off, do your big palette knife swipe right over the top and just fill in your gaps with different colours as you 
see different things in your painting. And that will be pretty much me for this week. So next up after me, we have the Dynamic Duo, Tony and Cat Pender, the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. Amazing people. If you haven't subscribed to their channel, please head over there. Make sure you do, because they are both two of my favourite people in this world. And I know that you will absolutely love their ch their channel. There's just um, always something different going on and their personalities never disappoint. Always put a smile on your face. So that is it for me this week, guys. I think that flyover reel should be, should be done now. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something just plain with simple swipes. So until next week, take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.